Hi, I'm Matt. I'm Julie. I'm Steve. And you're watching Word, Word of, of Mouth. Mouth. I saw the uh, new Mel Brooks musical, Young Frankenstein, and I just want to say, first off, wow. <laughs> Young Frankenstein, a Mel Brooks um, uh, musical, um, which was uh, originally a uh, movie. It was, uh, you know, one of, one of the landmark movies because it kind of introduced you to, uh, to Mel Brooks, and it was, it was just a very, very funny movie. Uh, Mel Brooks is um, uh, is a funny guy. Uh, he, uh, I like his shtick. He's got um, uh, a lot of one-liners, a lot of slapstick. Um, uh, he's clever. He's a little insane. He's a uh, a writer who I think thinks if you throw enough things at the side of the barn, enough of them will stick. And so he he produces hilarious things, but he also is um, a little bit erratic. You know, he, he can be hysterically funny and some of his stuff can really fall kind of flat. Oh, the jokes, you don't have to have seen the movie for the jokes to be good. The jokes are solid for anyone with any sort of sense of humor. I think uh, a lot of the audience who saw the movie, is, and, and, and me too, uh, 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 remember some of the lines from the, um, uh, from the movie and you're anticipating them. And that's part of the fun. Young Frankenstein is about a New York brain surgeon, uh, what is he, a scholar, He's a, he runs a medical school in New York. His grandfather, um, Dr. Frankenstein, died in Transylvania and he has to go there to uh, settle the estate. He's um, approached by the uh, grandfather's assistants to uh, take his place and to continue his experiments and to try to create life where there is no life. And from that ensues, a, you know, a comedy of errors, so to speak. Now, I, I thought everyone in the cast, you know, across the board, did a really fine job. Andrea Martin, who played uh, Frau Blucher, I think, uh, kind of walked away with the uh, show. She had one of the fun parts. Uh, she did it beautifully. Um, she was just hilarious in everything she did. Sutton Foster plays Inga, the farmhand. She's sensational. They're, they're on a hayride and, and she is just bouncing all over the place on the hayride. <laughs> She's hanging upside down. She's, you know, spinning around. Megan Mullally as Elizabeth was um, a very pleasant surprise. She was actually, you know, had a, a totally different range here. And surprise for me, she has an incredible voice, an incredibly powerful voice. And she just kind of brought down the house at one point. I think Roger Bart did a superb job. He was on point uh, and he was funny. I went into um, the theater hoping not to find myself comparing the performers to the performers in the movie, but it almost was inevitable when you hear them, you know, mouthing the same lines. It's really difficult. And I have to say that uh, Roger Bart really suffered in comparison to Gene Wilder. His expressions were great. Um, he's, a, a, he, he's got a terrific voice, uh, he can dance, uh, and he did a terrific job. I think uh, he was perfect for that part. There were a couple of um, pieces that were very good. Um, he was my boyfriend and um, a, you know, a few of the others. But for the most part, I think that a lot of the songs were pretty formulaic. Uh, they're not classic Broadway songs. They're, you know, some of them are... Um, um, you know, j j just funny songs. They're not big, booming uh, Broadway uh, uh, songs, although there were a few of them in there. Who doesn't like putting on the Ritz? I mean, putting on the Ritz is uh, the signature number for the show. Suddenly, the, the monster who was, you know, up until that point, pretty much, you know, straight arm guy, is suddenly like dancing in, in chorus line with, uh, you know, wonderful tap dancers. That song and dance number, um, it, it's just amazing. People who like, 
you know, the bells and whistles will really like this show because the, um, the staging is, is really excellent. The dancing, the lighting, the sets uh, were uh, off the charts. They were uh, as, as, uh, as big and beautiful and uh, as Broadway as you can imagine. But it, it was absolutely the best show that I've seen. The staging, the lights, the performances, uh, the vocal performances, just over the top, you know, fireworks exploding, you know, lightning bolts crashing down on, on the set, and uh, just the whole thing was, was Broadway to its fullest. It's, you know, fast paced, there are good performances. Um, I don't mean to denigrate the, uh, the score or the book. I just, you know, I think I was holding it to a higher standard maybe than, than what it met for me. But there are many, many people who, who will run to see this and enjoy it. Uh, Mel Brooks has um, uh, got a great name on Broadway after the producers, and it's hard to follow that up uh, with something else, but I think he's done, a, uh, done it again. It was fantastic, phenomenal, uh, incredible, great. Any other adjective that I can think of to describe superior quality, everything. It was just off the wall good. The best show I've ever seen.